Howdy, and welcome to Daily Miles. Do me a solid, smash that like button down below. It really does help out the channel, and while you're down there, please go hit the subscribe button. You'd really be helping me out. All right, let's get into it. On today's agenda, today is a process day, which means I'm gonna do a little shopping, which I definitely need to do a resupply for this thing. And I also have to wash my clothes because they could quite literally walk themselves to the laundromat. They've been literally screaming at me for the last week and a half, Miles, Miles, clean us. Yeah, they need to get cleaned. So not much is gonna happen in terms of me getting anywhere, which uh, reminds me I'm heading to not Yukia, but actually Eureka. So yeah, that's happening. Uh, however, in the meantime, I am going to tell you a tiny little Miles tale, a tale that actually happened. So on with the tale. This happened in 2000, 2004. This is right after I had moved from Northampton, Massachusetts to San Francisco. This is about two years before I would move to Mill Valley and then move to, and then start, start, start studying tango. So, what happened? At that point in time, the part of the reason that I moved to the West Coast was primarily to go dancing. And this is not, you know, social, this is not tango. This is uh, definitely social dancing, but it is most certainly not tango in any way, shape or form. This is freestyle, ta uh, freestyle dancing. Now I had talked, I've talked a little bit about this before and you can go look at the uh, fr uh, Dance Friday, Dance Freedom thing that I posted a while back. So if you're wondering what, you know, what I'm talking about, this is freestyle, freestyle dancing. And the West Coast had a really great cultured, scene for uh, freestyle, uh, freestyle dancing. And I was like, okay, well, let's go, let's go where the freestyle is happening, baby. Don't get me wrong, it was definitely happening on the East Coast, but it just felt more connected out here. And I detest the use of that word, or at least in terms of tango. There felt like there was a lot more going on here than there. So there I was meandering, minding my own Miles business and I decided to move to San Francisco. I got on the plane with exactly $104 in my in my to my name and then got off the plane, found a place to hang my head for a few weeks. Actually it turned out to be several months, but in the meantime I went out um, dancing every Friday night and every Wednesday and Friday night and the place was packed every Friday night. There must've been like at least 200 people in the room at this, you know, place. And it was you know, this dance studio that, you know, is very unremarkable in, in any way, shape or form, other than the fact that there was loads of people that were freestyle dancing. Make sense? All right. Now that we've established the situation, we have one more bit of establishing to do, and that's the culture of the environment. The environment was mostly, and I and I say this with all due reverence, it was mostly um, almost middle aging folks. Almost there was a lot. There was a, a, a wide range, but there weren't very many young people, and there was a lot of uh, definitely a lot of middle aged people in the room. Middle aged, anywhere between thirty and fifty, and that would be considered middle age, at least by my standards. Anyways. Uh, at the same time, there was also a load, and there's no nice way to put this, there were a load of massage therapists. <laughs> now, I'm not, I'm not, you know, uh, poo-pooing massage therapists. It just seemed like at that point in time, and, and to be fair, before, before I like launch into the whole massage therapy thing, there was a point in time when Mr. Miles wanted to be a massage therapist. I mean, I got the hands for it and I certainly have, I, I had the intent for it, but I didn't have the patience to do massage therapy. And it was a good thing that I didn't go down that road, even though I had, I had signed up for a program that would have gotten me licensed in the state of Massachusetts and it literally would have changed the, the course of my life, but I didn't go down that road, kiddies. There were a lot, and I, and I don't, don't get me wrong, I have the greatest respect for massage therapists, well-trained massage therapists and fabulous people with an amazing profession and I have nothing but props for them. However, there were some folks here on the, on the West Coast 
that were, shall we say, um, taking advantage of the term massage. And we'll leave it at that. All right, now on to the next part of the story. Neva oranges, a dollar. Broccoli is two forty nine a pound. Ugh. I should also point out to you that there were a lot of body workers in that community. Lots and lots and lots. And I have nothing but the greatest respect for people that do body work because it is back finger breaking work. Uh, if done properly. However, as I pointed out to you, there's a load of people that were doing questionable things with that term, body work. Body workers, right. Uh, there were also a lot of people that were doing energy work. And again, I have nothing but the greatest respect for those work because it is a lot of very difficult work to do for a lot of people. And usually I'd say that that comprises about 80% of the room. And most of those body workers were all women and women of a certain age. You, you can see where this is going, right? All right, so let's focus on the massage therapist in the room. Now, to be fair, again, a lot of them were actual massage therapists, but a fair number of them weren't certified in any way, shape, or form, not by any stretch of the imagination. Decisions, decisions. We're going with this today. Shit happens. The whole lane. Yes, you are, you evil man. <laughs> Remember, this is a full resupply, so we're stocking up, baby. So I'd been in San Francisco for about five months at this point, and I'd been working like a fiend, but I was also dancing crazy amounts of time. Wednesdays and Fridays both and at the time you know I'd become a fixture in the community and hanging out and going out social dancing and uh, meeting people and it was a really great time because the community is really really big or at least at that point in time it was really really big so I met a lot of people and as you do as you become a fixture in the community people start to gravitate towards dancing with you especially if you're a good dancer and I don't know whether or not I was but you know, I had a fair number of good partners Hmm. Crushed pineapple? I haven't had any in a long time. All right, so we're gonna get some crushed pineapple today. Where was I? Right, okay. So especially if you're a good dancer. And I may or may not have been a good one, but I, you know, people gravitated towards me. Anyways, so I met this woman named Martha and Martha's not her actual name. I, I don't want to embarrass her in any way, shape or form, but uh, she's a woman in her forties and she turns out to be a massage therapist. Now, <clears throat> I should point out that Martha is insanely gorgeous and she has a bevy of men that are trying to sleep with her. I'm not one of them, oddly enough. Ooh, don't need that. All right. So, believe it or not, I was not one of those guys that wanted to sleep with her. Don't get me wrong. She was insanely hot, but I just... I, didn't my my bells didn't go off and go yippee yahoo i want to dance i want to sleep with you no i just wanted to hang out with her <laughs> which made me the ideal partner to to hang out with because i was one of the only guys that didn't want to sleep with her and once we established that everything was happy hunky dory she was a little she's like wait you don't want to sleep with me i'm like no i don't want to sleep with you and and to and i was definitely honest about it i did not want to sleep with her at all I, and, and it's not because I wasn't, I didn't, didn't want to be with somebody. At that point in time, I was like, I was actually on the hunt for a, a wife, but she just 
yeah, it didn't, yeah, not. So, not so much with that idea. So there I was, not sleeping with her. And we go out one night to hang out, as it were. But drinking, I have my reg my regiment of cranberry juice, and she's drinking like a fish. So I get her back into her car, and we and I ask her about her massage therapy practice. And this is where things take a bend. <laughs> so, Martha tells me that about her practice. And as she's telling me about her practice, she tells me that her specialty is happy endings. Now, I'm not naive. Or at least, I didn't think I was naive until she mentioned happy endings. I'm like, what is a happy ending? And she starts giggling. I'm like, what, what's a happy ending? I don't, I don't get it. For those of you that don't know what a happy ending is, a happy ending is when either gender is gently massaged to an orgasm. Now, usually this is done with older men, but you know, that happens with, with women as well. So she was basically giving massages and happy endings. I said, how much do you charge for a, a, a massage? And she says about $400. I said, what do you charge for a happy ending? She says about $600. I said, and how long is the massage? It's about 45 minutes. And the happy ending? About 15. So you make about $1,000 for an hour, an hour of work. She says, yeah. I said, how busy are you? She says, I'm booked every day of the week. I basically work six to eight hours a day, depending on you know how much I how much or how little I want to work, and I work about five days a week. Are you kidding me? She's like, no. So basically, you're making about almost about ten thousand dollars a day, eight eight to ten thousand dollars a day, and anywhere between thirty and forty thousand dollars a week. She's like, yeah, pretty much. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, you weren't, you're not wrong. Wow. That was just absolutely insane. People will pay through the nose for X, Y, and Z, and boy do they ever. Wow. Welcome to Marin County. I think that's enough yapping for me today. I'm gonna to spend the rest of the day here doing a little writing, and then I'm out of here tomorrow, first thing. Uh, back on the road, heading to Eureka, not Yukia. I'm heading up to U Eureka, just get there directly. Alrighty, kitties, thanks a bunch for watching. I appreciate your time, your patience, and your patronage. Do me a solid, smash that like button down below. Definitely helps out the channel, and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button for more content. Thanks a bunch for watching Daily Miles. Bye.